Hi, this is Jerry for ChallengeLifeBetter.com. Have you heard the expression, leave it better than you found it? It's a, a phrase that my grandfather used to say. And it really had its roots in the farming community because if you borrowed something from a neighbor, uh, say it was a shovel or some kind of pick or whatever, when you got through with it, you oiled the handle, you uh, sanded off the rust, and you gave it back to them in a better condition than you found it. That's pretty simple to understand. Uh, many years ago, I became involved with lead paint inspections. That was almost 35 years ago. And I found that there were some major problems with the, uh, the kind of equipment I worked with in a company that... Uh, was foundering in that particular line of equipment, and I found there were problems. I got into it, I managed to turn it around, and in all intents and purposes, I had left it better than I found it. But I had an entrepreneurial spirit, so I felt like maybe this type of equipment needed to be relooked. We Maybe we needed to uh, go back and improve the this particular equipment. So I found another company and actually began to create this technology. And the result of that was that of the 54 million housing units in the United States that are contaminated with lead paint, we made a significant dent over a 25 year period in the number of houses and housing units that were uh, contaminated with lead paint. So the the point I'm making is I had an opportunity simply to do a job at the first company. And I had an opportunity simply to say, well, this product is going downhill. There's nothing I can do about it and just give up. But I saw something in there that just might be worth saving. And what it turned out to be was at that time, over 500,000, 1978, over 500,000 children were contaminated with lead from lead paint environments. And had I left that product to die, these children would have had one choice in, uh, in the system that was out there on the market to actually uh, do something about lead paint. And that product was antiquated and didn't work very well. Um, I'm no hero. I was trying to make money. I was, I was trying to create a new product and actually feed my family. But the result of that was that we really did make a difference. We really did leave it better than we found it. Uh, unfortunately, at the end of uh, about 15 years and uh, a number of uh, very uh, unethical people, I lost my company and wasn't able to continue in that line of work. Um, but people would say, oh, why did you do that? And when I put my head on the pillow at night, I really do believe that I left it better than I found it, even if it did cost me almost $2.8 million of, uh, of hard work. And uh, so I, I didn't cry over it. I simply started another company and kept on going. But my whole point about this is that instead of being down about something, instead of handing the shovel back rusty to someone, you can leave it better than you found it. You can make a difference. I mean, who would have thought some kid growing up on a turkey farm in Central Texas in the 50s would have made a difference, a little difference, in the, the lives of children in some, in some project somewhere. Uh, it was just something that happened, but um, I'm proud of that work, and uh, I'm proud of my grandfather instilling in me the the idea of leaving it better than you found it. So when you look at a situation, evaluate it, see if there's something beyond what's obviously on the surface, and when you're through with that particular business or line of work or that situation, ask yourself, did I leave it better than I found it? It could be a relationship. It could be uh, a piece of equipment. It could be 
of something that you're challenged to do. But when you back away from it, you got to ask yourself that. Until next time, this is Jerry for ChallengeLifeBetter.com. Be well.